What's up, Blue Channel TV? It's our day off. It is the last day of our weekend, our four-day weekend. And Houston's already calling for me. Let's go see what this guy's doing. A bobo. A bobo. What? How about you go watch TV in your room? Lucha gang, back with another banger. Kelly Jean here, smelling good. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Kelly Jean. If you are new to the channel, and my name is Lucky Lou. And don't be a hater all your life if you haven't already clicked the subscribe button. Also, make sure you stay true and hit the like button. Click the little bell that way you get a notification whenever we post a new vlog. I ain't got no makeup on today, guys. And I hope y'all don't mind because you know what, your girl pregnant and she don't feel like doing all that. That's right. Right now we're going to the grocery store because uh, every time we go out to eat, it's like a hundred dollars, and I ain't gonna be doing that every damn day of the week. So we're going to the grocery store, and them kids gonna eat some homemade food. We're gonna throw a pizza in the oven if they get hungry. Get a hot pocket. We are gonna head to the grocery store. I don't even know what grocery store we're going to. You guys, for those that have been asking, I am feeling better. I've been drinking Tylenol, the cold and flu. It's Tylenol? Like, it's, it's a, what, how do you know, how am I supposed to say it? Say Tylenol. Tylenol. Boy, you don't <laughs> get yo. I've been drinking this Tylenol uh, day Tylenol. cold and flu liquid thing. I don't even know. I, I gotta show y'all when I get home because it really, really, really helped me. And I just, I wanna show y'all because I know a lot of times you don't be knowing what to take or what to do whenever you feel like crap. I literally felt like I was dying. Like, when was it? What was it? Saturday. Saturday night? I had to wake him up like in the middle of the night. I was telling him like, babe, I feel like I'm about to die. Like, I couldn't breathe. I was getting chest pains. It was bad. But I am feeling a lot better. Thank y'all everybody that's been asking and checking up on me and just giving me advice. Wanted to give y'all a huge shout out. Oh. Y'all wanna hear a story about uh, Houston when I was pregnant with Houston, you guys? The story about why I didn't have a gender reveal last year. <laughs> it's hilarious, let me tell y'all. back to my woke. <laughs> so let me tell y'all what happened. We had booked the venue um, we had uh, our in, in invitations, our list of whoever we were gonna invite, the theme, everything. So at this time, I was going to school. Um, I did graduate as a certified medical assistant. Whoop, whoop. Shout out to everybody in school right now, trying to better their life. Anyways, back to the story. And I was starving and I was craving fried chicken. I wanted Popeyes. And so when he picked me up from school, I was like, babe, I want Popeyes. And he was like, I can't right now. I gotta drop you off and that's that and so he really dropped me off at home oh, knowing this guy works them, knowing right? i was craving popeyes like this he really didn't this man right here did not satisfy my craving so what i did was like and then it was on a tuesday and i was like all worked up at home i was like how is he expecting to spend two three racks on this gender reveal he can't even spend two three dollars on my uh, cravings for fried chicken so what I did was I sat there and I called the doctor and I was like I don't even want a gender reveal no more because he didn't get me my chicken and I called the doctor and I was like no you don't gotta call my friend no more about the gender I want to know what the gender is and then so and then I come home with hold Popeye's on. chicken <laughs> and so they're like it's a boy and I was like ah I was super super happy because that's what we wanted and then when he comes home I felt so bad because he came home with the Popeye's chicken you guys and I'm sitting there eating my Popeye's not knowing like how a big old baby. <laughs> it was a big old baby. not knowing how I was gonna tell him so I'm sitting there with like the biggest smile on my face like a nervous smile like for some reason when I get nervous I have like this awkward smile on my face 
and I was sitting there with that look and he's like what's wrong with you and I was just like I know what we're having and he was like how do you know and I told him what happened and then he's like so what are we having and then I was like a boy and that was that that was our gender reveal for Houston <laughs> Ah, that was so funny. That's why we didn't have a gender reveal for Houston. Um, we did have a baby shower, but this time around, I didn't really want a gender reveal. But then again, I do simply because I've never had one, and I think it would be some really dope content. So y'all, let us know if y'all want us to have it for y'all because I believe that video might make us some money. Oh God! <laughs> no, I just think it would be such a cute video and. It would be like awesome to incorporate y'all. We might invite one one lucky viewer. We're gonna invite <laughs> one lucky viewer is gonna win to come to our gender reveal. I party. think this time around the kids are gonna be way more excited than we are to find out what we're having. Uh oh so I wanted to talk when we were in San Antonio, I seen this lady that was came up to me and she was like hella sad and she was saying she had lost her kids at CPS and she had like so she had some more months to go before she can get her kids back and she was crying and she said that she just like watches our vlogs and that if I could give her some words of encouragement because she ain't know what to do. Just wanted to give a shout out to her. I did tell her to keep God first and I had went through the same thing because some uh, some some hater, I don't know who it was, but it was some, obviously someone was hating out there and called CPS on I know who it was. Some called CPS on me and told him I was just an uh, unfit father and was on drugs and all kind of stuff. That's why I don't do drugs. And I and my advice to you is if you're a parent, you gotta uh, leave the drugs alone because you never know if someone's gonna call CPS on you and they're gonna show up at your house with a, a drug test because that's what happened to me. They showed up with a drug test and cotton swabbed my mouth and luckily I ain't had no drugs in my system. Stop living for yourself, you gotta start living for your children. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta grow up and I know it's... What, boy? You hear me trying to give a speech right now? Better be quiet. You want pow pow? Anyway, I know it's cool to you know party and have fun when you're young and stuff, but when you got these uh, little kids you gotta raise, man, you gotta straighten up and keep a keep your mind straight, man. And two, it saves you money when you're not on drugs and you're not getting messed up, getting high all the time, spending money on weed. Weed is expensive, and and it ain't free. And uh, alcohol is expensive too. Buying bottles, busting bottles in the club, man, that shit is expensive. And when you leave that shit alone, you're able to focus on your money and stack your money up a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? I did want to say, too, though, not only that, whenever you're on drugs, you never know what your body can take or what you're putting in your body. So don't only think, like, oh, CPS can come and take them. But no, what, you if could something, die. what if something, like seriously happens to you where you either yeah, get man. paralyzed or it you ain't die. like back in the day when i was young and they had uh mm -mm. bars and stuff now you can't even tell if you're taking a real bar or not you, you know what i'm saying them pills ain't real man they be having them fake pills that them kids is dying up and and just because you take one pill you think you're cool but then if you mix that pill with some alcohol you might not wake up man so yeah and then when you drunk on the alcohol you're not even thinking right somebody show you the pill and you don't you're already drunk and gone so you're not tripping and you take the pill next thing you know you don't wake up it's happened to a friend of mine man so i know it's real but we finna get up out of here man go to this grocery store anyways um i'll be praying for everybody that's going through a tough situation with their children uh Man, I, I feel for her because I love my kids so, so much and I could just, I could never imagine, like, I could never imagine that. So, one thing I will say though is tough situations like this are balanced out. The universe is perfectly balanced and always remember to stay positive. Say hi, Houston. Kelly was talking about we need to start a podcast. I don't really want to start no podcast. I am cause so excited. I so want to start a podcast. Y'all type in the comments. Y'all tell us if y'all think we should start a podcast. Well, I really don't want to start no podcast because it's just like, you just, we already got a blog. It's the same thing. You just talk to the camera. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Kelly thinks we should start a podcast. So y'all type in the comments and let us know if y'all think we should start a podcast. Houston, I never got no shoes on. You guys, who's ready for Halloween? We haven't even bought the kids' costumes. You Not know, we really. wait till the last day. <laughs> Type in the comments yeah. below and let me know what you're gonna be for Halloween. If you're even oh, gonna yeah, dress man. up. 
Come on, Nana. Free bananas at Kroger. So up, baby. Banana. He loves fruit. We are doing the walk of shame because we ran up a check once again. I went over again. our budget. I went about fifty dollars over my budget. What's wrong? Oh, you want cookies? Oh, you want cookies? Okay, let me get you. <laughs> Look at him. Is it good? Yummy. <laughs> All right, let's go. So this whole vlog gonna be us just driving to the grocery store, getting our groceries, and driving home. How you love it? <laughs> no, we're actually gonna cook for y'all, you guys. Lucky actually picked up some chicken that's wrapped with cheese and uh, asparagus. No, the cheese and asparagus is wrapped with chicken. Well, same thing. Some chicken, oh, okay, I get it. So, the chicken is stuffed with cheese and asparagus. So he's gonna make that, wow. it's easy. Oh, right. he almost killed me. Slow down, man, you see me coming through. Why you gotta drive like that? They in a hurry, because they've been at work all day. Ain't my fault you've been at work all day, you're in a rush to get home, homie. You know what I'm saying? He's about to make that for y'all. I don't really want that. I feel like we've been eating super, super heavy lately, and I need to like slow down, because then when I lay down, I just feel so fat and overwhelmed. Babe, I need you to get this sticker right here. Houston, are you choking back there? <clears throat> but I got me some, um, what did I get? Crab cakes. I love crab cakes, you guys. And I think that's gonna be my dinner for today. I don't really want much. Probably like a salad on the side with some ranch and croutons. So you know, I'm a little nervous because I'm supposed to have this like weekly episode for all my comadres. <laughs> I was telling Lucky like, I don't even wanna do this no more, but I know that you ladies are there for me, you know? Hey, if y'all wanna see, y'all talk in the comments and let her know, you know what I'm saying? Give her the confidence she needs to go on with her little YouTube channel. So if y'all ladies, and maybe some males too. If y'all want to see some Kelly Jean on her own channel, y'all type in the comments and let her know that she start her own top channel talking about uh, cooking and you know cooking and cleaning and makeup about doing hair. I really need y'all's feedback. Just basically, what do y'all want me to talk about? What do y'all want to see? Because again, I do need that confidence. Not that I'm not confident in it. I just want to make sure that I'm serving y'all, you know? I don't just wanna be rambling on, talking, doing all that extra stuff, like We're actually- We're here to serve y'all and help y'all out. Like when we go to our meet and greets and we go to our pop-up shops, not mean, I don't mean to cut you off, baby. But you did. But when we go to our pop-up shops, the people be saying that we be, help, we be helping them and we be, you know what I'm saying, we be helping them get through some things, is what I'm saying, so. We here to serve y'all and help y'all get through whatever y'all need to get through. So y'all let us know what y'all want to hear more of or what y'all need to know more of. I'm gonna start me an online course, man. I'm gonna start me an online course and give y'all the game how to get paid on YouTube, how to get paid in the music business, how to keep your house in harmonious bliss when you have a big family, how to keep a, a big family fed when you're working for yourself and self-employed. So basically, we just basically want feedback on what exactly it is that y'all want to see, what type of content, what type of advice, what type of motivation, what type of... Um, but hey, if I started a class, would you go to the class? Let me know that. If I started an online class, would you go to the class? That's all I need to know. Cause I'm gonna be Professor Luck up in this bitch, man. Hold up, baby. Y'all let Kelly Jean know what she, what y'all want to hear more. If y'all want to, if y'all want to know how to lay them baby hairs down. No, honestly, I think I'm just gonna stick to the cooking because I feel really confident in that area. I want to like give y'all all the recipes, like my charro beans. I know I've made videos on it, but not like to the T, like just straight to the point uh, tutorials on my charro beans, which are like the best. Or the flautas. Game. My flautas, flautas are really easy. I know a lot of y'all were, I, I know a lot of y'all were in the comments talking about those aren't flautas, those, those are tacos dorados or whatever. I'm not legit Mexican, you guys. I have Mexi 
Mexican blood in me, but I wasn't raised in a Mexican household, so what I cook is like what I know to cook, and if I call it the wrong name, damn, excuse me. She's El Salvadorian, if you didn't Why do you have to say El Salvadorian? Like, when you refer to somebody that's from El Salvador, they're just Salvadorian, not El Salvadorian. <laughs> oh, my bad. <clears throat> so, I, what are they called? Paisa. Guanaca? I She's think? mas paisa. I don't know what they're called. So I think I'm gonna just stick to the recipes. Let me know uh, what exactly y'all want me to cook for y'all. I think you could do hair better than you can cook. I'm just saying you do hair really well. The way you do the girl's hair and stuff. <laughs> you know what? This is it. I'm done. Nah, hey, get off that carpet with that food, though, boy. Anyway, uh, I need to give a birthday shout out. I want to give a happy birthday shout out to Anaya from Baby Houston. He said happy birthday. Anaya turning five years old. Happy birthday to Anaya turning five years Houston, old. Say happy birthday to you. I also want to give a happy birthday shout out to Jacob Garcia turning 16 years old. Happy birthday to you. What y'all think about these hoodies though? Y'all let me know what y'all think about these hoodies. These Lucci gang hoodies. Y'all let me know. Alright, so I washed my hands and like I said, these are already pre-made and stuff. We got them at Kroger, but like he usually does this on his own. He just gets chicken breasts. And he basically opens it up. Chicken thighs. Oh, chicken thighs. He gets chicken thighs and he opens it up. Skinless chicken thighs. This one comes wrapped up already, so. Oh, yeah. Nice and healthy, too. Wow. Well, I don't know about all that cheese in there, but baked chicken is pretty healthy. Make sure that everything is centered. Grab the last one. And this is what we're eating for dinner. Again, we cheated because they were already pre-rolled. But look how good this looks. It smells super, super good. We got the food cooking in here. Green beans and corn mixed together. Oh, Gigi, what are you doing? Setting up the table over there? Yeah. Mmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Got the napkin, the fork. Let's get a close up on that beautiful, beautiful fork. I'm just kidding. Let's see. The main dish. Oh, oh look at that. It's all us fogging up the camera. Yeah. But if y'all don't want to see me stuff like Wait, this. hold up. Are those wrapped inside the chicken? Yeah. That tomato on top? What's this called? It's called Lucky Specialty. <laughs> All right, we're probably gonna dig into this Lucky Special. And we're gonna give it a taste test to see if it's all that for my belly. I don't know. I would say it tastes different. I mean, I have a butter knife. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna just stab it. Okay, this is the point that I need to eat. What's that? What's that? What's that? Asparagus? Special is a little dry, but overall the flavor. Look at that middle part. Thanks for watching. I'm about to dig into this meal right here. And I'll see y'all in a gym. Whoa.